Hi everyone, this is my 1986 Land Rover 110 with the 2.5 normally aspirated diesel engine, the 12J. And the job for today is to do a compression test using this kit here. Now, I did rebuild this engine about 10,000 miles ago, but a trusted friend of mine who was riding in the car recently thought he sounded something that didn't sound quite right when the engine was running. So he suggested I do a compression test and this is the kit he lent me. So when doing a compression test on a diesel engine, you have two options. You can either use the injector ports, which is what this adapter is for, or you can use the glow plug ports, which is what these adapters here are for. So I'm gonna try and remove the glow plugs, see if uh, one of these here fits. There's also some extra adapters here to allow you to connect uh, this component to the quick release mechanism on the gauge. So these are the heater plugs here. These are what, uh, what I'm going to remove. I'm going to take all four of them out so it's easier to turn the engine over. There'll only be compression in one cylinder. There's also a, a wiring harness here that I'm going to remove. So my first step will be to disconnect the battery. Now as I have some aftermarket seats, they're actually out of a Toyota Surf, I can't get to my battery box to disconnect it. So I've actually installed a battery cutout switch, this one here, which I can use to, to disconnect the battery to allow me to work on the engine. <laughs> So now I've got all of the glow plugs out, it wasn't too much trouble. Here are the glow plugs on my bench. And it seems to me that uh, this particular item here, this one, is the same thread as my glow plug. So this one should fit into the head. Then you also need one of these to screw onto the end, which allows fitment into the quick release adapter there. So let me put these two together and then just test them in the head to see if they fit. So that adapter seemed to fit in quite nicely. Thread seems to be the correct one. Fits into the heater plug hole without any problems. Now we have the, uh, the gauge here, which we need to connect on here. Let's just do a quick release. That's it. And there we go. Sit that for there. The other thing I'm going to do is just to remove the cutoff solenoid in the injector pump because we don't need any fuel going in while we're turning the engine over. So now I can reconnect the battery and let's see what compression we have in cylinder number one. So let's turn over the engine and see how much compression we have in cylinder number one. So it looks as though we have just a smidge over 400 PSI in cylinder number one. So let's do the other three cylinders and see if they're something similar. So this is now cylinder number two.
So we're almost dead on 400 PSI for cylinder number two. And I also forgot to say that you need to release the pressure from the gauge before you disconnect it from the head. And you do that by pressing the button just next to the dial there. So this is now cylinder number three. So this cylinder has a little bit more, maybe 440 PSI. So the first cylinder one and cylinder two were just around 400. This one has just a little bit more. So now let's try cylinder number four. Okay, so cylinder number four seems to be a bit less, just over 300. Maybe I'll just try it one more time, see if it increases a little bit. Okay, so now I did it again. It's up higher, it's now on 440. So I'm just wondering, maybe I need to do all of them a little bit more. Maybe cylinders one and two, maybe I didn't turn them over as long. All right, let me try cylinders one and two again and see what results I get. So after redoing cylinders one and two, they also came up to 440 PSI. So I think my problem was when I was first doing the test, I wasn't turning the engine over enough. It felt in the end as though if I turned it over for about 15 seconds, it got to the, the optimum level and wouldn't go above that. Um, so it means that all four cylinders have virtually the same compression rate of about 440 PSI, which I'm quite pleased about because it means that uh, isn't something terribly wrong in one of the cylinders. Uh, the kit I was using, the one that was lent to me by my friend, is made by US General and it worked very well. It had the adapters I needed for my particular engi engine and it was very easy to use. So the last job now is to just clean up these glow plugs. I think I'll probably put some copper grease on them, put them back in the car. And then hopefully it starts up again. So everything's back together and we're running again, which is always good. It always makes me happy. Rocky is also very happy. He's been supervising on this one. So that's the end of this video. If you found it helpful in any way, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.